known as America's rabbi, but now Shmuley Boteach, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? I you sure did. did. Uh, wants to be known as New Jersey's congressman. The rabbi, who was once a spiritual advisor to Michael Jackson, announced that he is seeking the Republican nomination for New Jersey's 9th congressional district. And a key party committee is endorsing him, and the rabbi is joining us this morning. Thank morning. you. I wanted to get that correct pronunciation with the ha in you there. You did it perfectly without well, even having you. to find anything to do it properly. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us. You're an incredibly interesting man, a lot to talk about. You're a well-known rabbi. Rabbi, um, some would say perhaps celebrity. Why are you running for Congress? Zerada, we have to change the values discussion in the United States because the social sexual obsession is killing us. If we're going to spend the next three decades, as we have already, talking about abortion, gay marriage, and now the trifecta of contraception, my God, where is, where is the focus going to be about really helping families, like introducing legislation that can make marital counseling tax deductible to give fa um, couples who are in crisis? the financial incentives to get the help that they need. I cannot believe the distractions that are undermining us in a time of such great challenge. And as someone, you were showing clips from a TV show I hosted where I just went around the country trying to help families. Is the obsession over gay marriage really going to help heterosexual couples? 50% divorce rate, I'm a child of divorce. Um, what about growing narcissism among our youth or growing materialism? None of these things are being addressed. We continue to come back to the same social values issues, and I want to change the conversation. Well, but the conversation exists, right? And everybody is talking about those social issues. So where do you stand on those issues? Well, look, I, I'm an Orthodox Jew who happens to have a gay brother, so these are things I have to wrestle with constantly. Um, I may be for civil unions, but do I think that gay marriage is the end of the republic? Of course not. That's ridiculous. The fact is that this is a distraction, and we're using something, we're using a scapegoat to excuse our own heterosexual failures in marriage. Why isn't there a greater financial incentive for couples to simply get help? A lot of studies show that couples who are on the verge of divorce, once they get counseling, if they can afford it, because it's not cheap, especially in, in times of economic turmoil like now, uh, they have a significant rate of recovery in their marriages. I, if we don't change the conversation, I just see greater division, greater partisanship. The fact is that if you find the underlying values that define so, so many policies, there's less friction because we may, we may disagree on how to get to those values, but we don't disagree on what the values should be. And American values have to be reestablished, not these silly distractions that are just ridiculous. It's, it's almost shame we're having these conversations. You mentioned the reality show. So how do you separate that, the celebrity, from this run for Congress? I'm not a celebrity. Uh, I'm a father of nine, thank God. Uh, I love being around my children. I have a loving wife. Um, I did a show where I tried to give families what I wish someone would have given me. My parents' divorce scarred me for life. Um, and one out of two children in America is raised the way I was raised. And I think that accounts for why celebrities become so important. 80% of high school students were asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they said famous. They didn't even say famous for what? They just want to get in front of the camera. I think that lust for attention is compensation for an absence of love. Uh, if we have stronger families, I think that we'll have more wholesome youth. Uh, I don't know that college has to be four years anymore. More. I was the rabbi at Oxford University for 11 years. It's a three-year course. It's a world-famous university. Most European universities are three years. Let's get students to volunteer for a year and get college credits for a year to combat the growing narcissism. Social media is wonderful, Twitter and Facebook, but telling the whole world every single day what you do and what you're about and the cornflakes you ate for breakfast isn't necessarily going to inculcate selflessness. I think policy can begin to reflect some of those values. You mentioned something uh, that's interesting, nine children, yes. and you have famously said that you believe that mom and dad need to be at home in order to raise those kids. Running for Congress is going to take you away from home. Yeah, you know what, uh, that's why I spent uh, a good few months uh, contemplating this decision. I hope it's the right decision. Luckily, the district, you know, districts aren't huge and uh, you're closer to home. But you can bring your kids to a lot of things, and uh, I'd, li I'd like my children to actually see some of the civic responsibilities inherent in running. And by the way, there's something about running, I, I, you know, the fundraising, it, it's all difficult and, and it's not pleasant. But being with people, and especially being forced to go out of your comfort zone and meeting people who are ethnically different and religiously different, I think that could be a good ed education for kids. But I freely admit that this is very new for me, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. I ask God's blessing that it turns out well. And I don't even mean with a victory. I hope that the message is victorious. You know, and if I am as well, that's great. Well, but your not, chances in the Democratic district, you know. Very, very tough. There, it's yeah. a very steep uphill climb. But I think that I'm getting into this because I feel this message has to be delivered even if I end up not having that seat, I'll, I'll, I'll fight for this seat, but I think the message is still more important than that. I, I, we're running out of time here. I want to ask you just very quickly, who do you support in uh, this GOP race? I'm not... I, I think that there are a few decent and good choices, and uh, I'm more focused on my, my race than I am on that. But um, I... I suspect people want to know. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, you have to give me a little bit of time. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my feet wet in my own race. I'm not I ready to look that. at it. I look I, I, like anyone else. I follow the national races. But uh, it, as soon as I know, you'll be the first I call. Rabbi, thank you thank so you. much God for joining you. us today. Good, good luck to you. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you. <laughs> nice to Ashley, see you. the rabbi. Lovely to see you in studio, sir. It is a